Hello, my name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm an intuitive reader and I have a message today for the earth signs. This is for Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So our reading starts with the Page of Wands. It goes into the Two of Cups, into the Hermit, into the Fool, and then into the Five of Swords. So I'll give you this short message. <laughs> the short message is saying, this is a time to really communicate and reach out to other people. This is not a time to bottle up your own feelings and put yourself in isolation, getting yourself away from others. This is really the time to reach out and connect. I know that earth signs love to be self-sufficient, but this is really the time to reach out to others and see how they're doing emotionally and keep those lines of communication open. Keep those, um, keep the positivity, the enthusiasm, the cheerfulness there because you have a lot more power than you realize with those that you love. The way you feel and react towards things really inspires or discourages them. So even just giving them an ear, you know, how are you feeling? How are you doing? This can really, really, really help them turn things around in their own minds and kind of ease some of the stuff they may be feeling. So that's the short message. <laughs> Let's see if I can explain this to you. So, um, We've got, this is where you start, you know, kind of on the ground with people involved in these relationships. And part of you wants to walk away. That's the hermit. You want to go kind of off by yourself. Maybe you just want to be by yourself for some time. But you kind of you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm done interacting with people. I just, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm going to go off by myself, search for my higher truth. That sounds really good to me. But the fool comes to you and says, no, that's not the direction you need to go. You see, she's facing the other way. She's trying to show this person that that's really going about your, how do I say this? The way you tend to respond, drawing inward, bringing your energy inward, that's not what's recalled for here. You need to do something new that you haven't done before. Um, that's what the fool means here. So instead of going off by yourself, which is natural and comfortable for you, you need to turn yourself back around and you need to be there for the people that really, really need you. And I'm not saying that you have to be responsible and take care of them. I'm just saying a simple question like, hey, how are you feeling? And not judging the response, just listening and saying, okay, I can see why you're feeling that way. The empathy thing, that's what I'm going after. You know, this is not time to be a tower of strength by yourself. Use your strength towards empathy. This last card, the Five of Swords, it has to do with ambiguity. You're not quite sure what to do. Should you be going after something? Should you be retreating from something? That's the literal meaning of this card. In the context of this spread, it, it represents that push and pull between do I continue to engage with the people in my life, in my world? Do I continue to engage with them emotionally or do I just put myself back? Do I just kind of eh, <laughs> lock myself inside myself in my ivory tower? That's where the hermit loves to live until I feel safe to come out again. And the spread is really encouraging you to do the other because you have so much warmth and so much importance to offer in the lives of your loved ones. So that was a short and sweet message for you. If you have questions, reach out in the comments below. I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings if you'd like a little bit more specific information about what's going on in your life. Um, I do these over Skype and Zoom. And um, I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time.